and welcome back for another episode of Let's Play System Shock. So this time, we're gonna see if I can actually, you know, save my progress. Alright. Let's do it. I mean, I guess we can listen to this again. We've already seen this particular intro, so I guess I'll leave that for now. Let me go to... Shodan security is closing down on us. The elevators are frozen. Myra keeps saying that it's the cameras and the medical CPU core that Shodan's using these to hold onto the level. That's all fine, but I don't really see how it helps. The thing is everywhere. And there's this code again. Alright. Kill that. The security level is going down very, very slowly. Alright. Oh, <laughs> not me to bash it. Let's... Well, that was quick. Gunther was killed today. I can't let myself think about it. I think I understand how Shodan is doing it. When we destroy the cameras and CPU nodes, Shodan loses some of its control over the station functions, at least on this level. I think I can restore manual control in the hospital. Alright. I think that was one of the ones I didn't listen to last time. Uh, it's a bit dark. Alright, we'll go... Right, so I didn't explain this last time, but this is a kind of... one of the mini-games you can do. It, from what I understand, you have to connect these pluses together to reach one side to the other. It's a lot like the uh, pipe game in Bioshock. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I don't think I went in here last time. Yeah, I probably did. Okay, so nothing to do with that particular circuit. Uh, nothing in here, just trying to be as thorough as possible. Okay, nothing there. Uh, 
Actually, I forgot there's batteries in some of these guys. Well, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Alright, recharged. Okay, so... Can't remember, do these do anything? No, they don't. I'm just running around in circles. From me. All right. Status report. We're holed up in the beta quadrant behind a radioactive trench. The mutants are scavenging for food in the corridors and nesting in Gamma. I sent a party to the West Wing for supplies maybe 12 hours ago. Nathan Darcy is thinking up ways to disable the mining laser. It looks like we might hold them off. <laughs> those messages are nothing alike. I'll take those... rounds. Uh... Oh, right, I've heard about this. So because the controls were so obtuse, you could get this item which would allow you to look behind you. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll switch to inventory for now. Let me... Yeah, I don't need a test tube pack. Alright, let's... Continue our descent. Oh, there's a dude down there. Whoa, holy crap. Teflon coated rounds and standard rounds, okay. Hope there's not too many more of those. At least before I get a gun. Alright. Hmm. Oh crap. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens when you die, apparently. Let's do this one more time. since I've seen it all. Alright, kill these guys.
These guys just have test tubes. None of them have batteries. That is disappointing. Oh. A helmet. Yeah, I've already seen these logs. Four, five, one. Alright. I don't know if it's just me, but these guys look like old men in togas. Probably just that whole lack of communicability with artistic design. Okay, seriously, none of these guys have batteries. Right, there is stuff in this. Alright, come at me. This game really does not hold your hand at all. This is very confusing map layout. Oh man, this is uh, bringing some flashbacks back. Interesting. Let me... Let me open my... Yeah, I don't know if I can use helmets. Medical computer cyberspace lock. That... Is interesting. Alright. Hmm. Interesting. I'll wait to explore that. Oh, medical access card. That's a X ray machine. And that is a cyberspace terminal. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here, so I'll see you all next time. Go ahead and save first. <laughs>